Okay, so I'm doing this video to show y'all how I do my hair. Um, using the balloon, which is like a waffle iron type looking thing. It just gives body to your hair. I do mine on 345 because that's the recommended heat to do it with the thickness of my hair. So as you can see, my hair is very thin. It's just uh, nothing special. All right, so I start off and I just do the ends because my ends are crap. So I just quickly just curl them under. So I don't have to do that at the very end. So nothing special. Uh, this is just with a straightener just because I think it's faster that way. I'm not straightening all my hair because um, I don't want it to ruin what I'm going to do with the balloon. So, all right, I've had the balloon for about a month now. So, I've tried it a couple different ways, and this is the way that I like it the best. So, okay. So, I got that. And when the balloon, it comes with these hair ties and it comes with this pick, which I like. So I just, I've straight, I, I've parted it and I've um, just blow dried it. And now the, the ends are just a little bit curled. And that's all I do. And then I take just the top layer. So this part, this part, and a little bit back here. So I just take a little bit like that. You see my baby hair's coming out. It's okay. I take that and then I just pin them up because that's what's gonna go on top. So underneath, you're gonna pretty much like kind of like crimp your hair and then on top you put it down so it's flat and it looks good. So then I take the volume and don't do anything too special, just a little bit and hold it there three seconds or so it says one second but whatever i just like it to be crimpy and then i do a couple of layers because i like my hair to be full and if i don't do a few layers then it's not as full if I feel like it didn't crimp as well, then I just go back and I just about three times. So that's the first layer. And you can see already how much more full that is. You see the side is still like bleh. Much better. And then I just take the next bit. And then just go down one, two, and three. And then I do a layer underneath. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then, depending on how thick those layers were, I might do another one. So one, two, one, two, one, two. And there's that. Look at that. That's pretty cool stuff. And then I do the back. Just try to get it close to my scalp, but not too close because then it, it's really hot. And I do the next one. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then, depending on how I feel, I'll do another one. <laughs> Just depends on the day. There's that, and then I do one over here. I find if I tilt my head, then I could get a little closer to my scalp without it being too big of a deal. And because I part my hair on this side, I do a couple more. I could do like one, two, three, four. One, two, so it's one, two, three. And then I don't want to get too close to my bangs because my bangs will be showing. And I 
don't want it to be too crimpy looking, you know. Let's do the top part again. Anyway, that shows that it's giving my hair tons of volume. And it looks so much thicker and it feels thicker, which is awesome. Um, and then I take this out. What I usually do with this is just super simple. So I just get like a big pick. I just spray a little bit with hairspray. So I don't have to wrap my whole entire hair. But I still wrap a little bit up top. Just so it doesn't look like the volume is right here, you know. It kind of looks silly. But I don't wrap it a ton, just a little bit, and then and brush it out some. And then I take my straightener, and then I just do the top layer. I just straighten the top layer all the way around. Give my hair lots of volume. And it's not showing the wrinkles all so much. And if it starts to show a little bit, then just straighten it out. So yeah. Anyway, my hair feels super thick and it's you know, and I love it because it like stays like this all day long. So I mean just a tiny bit of hair spray up at the top where I ratted a little bit. That's it. Oh.